Hey guys, today I wanted to make a short video explaining how to use and make an item filter in Minecraft Sky Factory 3. If you don't know what I'm talking about, this is an item filter. This is the recipe for it here. Uh, the purpose of these is when you're using transfer pipes to transfer items from one container to another, you may want to filter out specific items and that's where an item filter comes in. So to start with, we'll just demonstrate the making procedure. This is the recipe of it here, so you're going to need four sticks, four redstone, and a piece of string. I've got plenty of those here. So we'll go ahead and make one of those. Now, the situation where you're going to use an item filter is, say you've got a chest where your loot bags from your mob farm go or any sort of automated production where you're getting a bunch of different materials and you want to separate out one particular one. If I want my common loot bags to go into another chest I can use a transfer pipe but as you will see it transfers everything out of here not just the common ones. So if I want to set it to just transfer the common bags, I grab out my item filter and holding it in your hand, you just right click, which will open up this screen. And then whatever you put in here will be filtered out of the chest that you're attaching it to. So if I put my common loot bag here, and I could put an uncommon one as well, you can put up to 16 items here and then we put our transfer node and whichever one it was this one. put the item filter in this slot here and that will filter out only the items that I've put in there so if we connect up the pipe you'll see that it will leave the rare loot bags here And you can use these anywhere that you're using a transfer node. There is a bunch of other types of item filters, but this is the most basic and earliest one you can make, I've found. So they're fairly simple. Uh, it also has some other things. You can change it from whitelisting items to blacklisting items, which anything you put in there will not get transferred and everything else will. Uh, you can change it to match the metadata of an item. So if you had items like equipments with different durabilities, it will ignore the durability and transfer all of that type of equipment. Otherwise, it will only transfer ones with identical durability to what you've put in. Uh, I'm not sure what these other two things do, but if you're familiar with Minecraft, you might be able to work that out. So yeah, they're pretty easy to make and pretty easy to use. You just hold it in your hand, right click, and anything you want filtered out you put in here and the rest of the stuff will stay in the chest. You can use them anywhere, you can use it on your mob farm or your automated production, anywhere that you're transferring multiple types of items. Uh, I'll just demonstrate quickly. This is my mob farm setup here and I'm using item filters here. I'm separating out all of these items and leaving these items in the other chest and then over this side I'm separating out any bows or equipments and they're getting chucked out into space because I don't want them. So yeah, they're quite easy to use. Uh, I wanted to make this video because when I was trying to figure it out there wasn't really much information out there about them. So you just put any items you want to filter out in here, it doesn't matter where you put them, you can put a bunch of items in there, and you put it straight into this guy here. And that will filter out only the one you put in there. So I hope that helps you guys, and if you want any other sort of demonstration videos, let me know in the comments. I'll put links to all of the mod packs and things I'm using in the description. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time.